Okay, I'm working on a line work layer, right? And then if you want to select a, a specific line work or an area that you want to transform and modify it, you select it and then you click on transform, right? It's going to give you this error message. I'm going to teach you how to get past that and select whatever it is that you want to select in, a, in that specific line work layer and how to modify it and how to transform it and all that. To, to do that, you have to click on selection, click on select SP and selection, or you can click on select strokes with selection. Either one you choose, it doesn't matter. I usually click on select strokes with selection because it highlights everything that you want to select in red. And so now you click on transform, boom. You can modify, you can move it, you can transform it, whatever like whatever you choose, right? But let's just say, oh, I want to transform a different thing, right? Or, or you, or you want to select a different um, line work. You do that, you select, and you click on select strokes with selection, boom. And then now when you go to select it, it selects the eye first. It selects the eye that you selected and it selects the, the nose that you selected. To, to do that, all you, every time you want to select a different thing, you always need to click on sel deselect all SPs. So it can go back to its original state without anything being selected. So now this time around, you want to select a different thing. I want to select my nose. Um, you click on select strokes with selection. Boom. Now you can modify the nose. Um, it still gives you the same option if you click on um, select SPs in selection. If you want to do that, go ahead. But this time around, it selects the anchor points of it. But it's still going to allow you to transform it. Either one you choose, it doesn't matter, like I said. If that first option does not work for you, um, you could either click on edit and select. And this time around, you know, you could either select the line work, the line here, or you can select the anchor points of it. So it's a tedious, this second option is a tedious process, but it's, if it works for you, you could go ahead and do it. You know, you could either select the line, the line here, or you can select the anchor points of it. So it's, like I said, it's a tedious process. It takes forever, but if that first option doesn't work for you, you can select, you can do the second option, which is select everything that you want to modify it, right? Like I said, it's a tedious process, whatever. I'm not going to do that, but it's still going to allow you to uh, modify it. Since I didn't select all the anchor points, it's going to use this, like, it's going to look like that. Like, just a bunch, a bunch of scrambles. Either one, either option you choose, it's still going to let you transform it. So, I hope this video is helpful for you that needed to do this or whatever.